well, number one is no question, Sherlock Jr. Um, Buster Keaton, it was, the, it was the first Buster Keaton movie I ever saw, uh, and it's still my favorite Buster Keaton movie. It's hilarious, it's inventive. Uh, Keaton is really experimenting with what motion pictures can do, uh, and it's, it's almost like he's incorporating magic tricks from his old vaudeville days uh, when his family used to tour with like Houdini and others. Number two, I'm gonna say Metropolis. Uh, which, you know, is the first, like, really major science fiction film. Metropolis is just wonderful. The, the magnitude of the production is, is incredible. Number three, I'm gonna go with kind of a, a, a dark horse choice uh, and go with uh, The Circus by Charlie Chaplin. The Circus is it's just a beautiful little movie. It's, uh, it's very funny. Uh, it's very sweet. Uh, Chaplin, you know, he's playing his little tramp character, and he ends up working at this circus and falls in love with, you know, the, the daughter of the, the circus's owner, or stepdaughter, or something like that. And so it has all the, the classic elements of Chaplin. It's very funny, it's sad, uh, it's just a, a beautiful, beautiful film. I'm gonna go with The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari for my number four choice. Uh, the Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, of course, is, you know, one of the films that really kicked off the German Expressionist movement. If, if you're a fan of Tim Burton, you have to go back and watch Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, because that's, his whole style comes from that film. Uh, you know, uh, Guillermo del Toro, a lot of his work you can trace back to, to Caligari. Carl Theodore Dreyer's uh, The Passion of Joan of Arc for my number five. Uh, it came out in 1928. Um, it's a European film. Uh, silent film about the trial and execution of Joan of Arc, and it's... Uh, groundbreaking film in that it was shot almost entirely in close-up, which for 1928 was extraordinarily rare. It's heartbreaking. I mean, you know, if you know anything about history, you know it's going to end tragically. Um, but it's so, so well done. Um, so there's my five. And then I'll say The Freshman with Harold Lloyd as my runner-up number six.